Hello, this is Luis, head of product at Motion. Today, I'm going to show you the biggest release of 2024 for Motion. In this release, we have a brand new navigation system, we're introducing bulk operations, and we have a brand new activity feed for tasks and problems. Let's take a look. If you're familiar with Motion right now, you'll see that Motion has its main navigation up here. We have a calendar, projects, and a booking tab. Clicking on calendar shows you your calendar with your tasks and events. Clicking on projects shows you your workspaces and your projects along with your tasks. So why did we want to change this? We wanted to change this to make it much faster to get from one part of the product to the other. We want to make it more efficient and save you time as you're going through your day to day. So what did we change? Let's take a look. Here is a brand new motion. As you can see, we moved our main navigation, calendar of projects into the sidebar. So now the sidebar becomes your main navigation portal into all of Motion's features. Let's take a closer look at each of the things and move into the sidebar. Start at the top. Up here, you can see that the account control is right at the top right now. From here, you can take any account action. You can also see that help settings and search are right here together at the top of Motion, so they're always easy to find. As a reminder, you can use command and slash to trigger a search. Right below that, we have the up next one. And the up next control has been redesigned to match closer to your calendar. So if you have a meeting coming up, it looks like a meeting. If you have an event coming up, it looks like an event. And if you have a task coming up, it looks like a task. It's also colored in the same color that your events and tasks are set up so that you can more easily find. Let's keep going down the sidebar into the search sidebar. This is one of the most powerful ways to now navigate motion. And you can see that it has a shortcut of S. As soon as you press S, you'll be able to filter the full sidebar, thus making it easy to find workspaces and projects so you can navigate quickly through the app. Right below that, we have full tasks, full projects, and team schedule. These are some of the most powerful aggregators that Motion has, and they're easy to navigate to and easy to find. And all of them will have shortcuts. Right below them, you'll see a new tutorial section. This tutorial section is the home of our new Motion tutorial series. And in there, you'll be able to learn how to use Motion. Right below that, we have the pass do control. In here, Motion will tell you exactly how many items are passed through. And below that, we have our workspaces section. In here, you'll be able to see all your workspaces and projects and be able to quickly navigate. With this new sidebar, you should be able to get to anywhere you need to go very quickly. We also have all the new keyboard shortcuts that will allow you to navigate even faster. The booking link is a part of calendar. And so when you go to the calendar tab, you'll be able to find all your booking links up here and you'll be able to set them up with just one. On the right side of the calendar is the calendar picker and your calendar scroll. So you'll be able to find it frequently met with and all your accounts. And lastly, your agenda view has moved down here. You can expand it and collapse it to see more or less of it. And that's it. That's all we've changed in the navigation. We're hoping this sets you up to be even more efficient when you're using Motion. And if you're using Motion with your team, you should be able to support all your workflows in a much better way. We'll be building a lot more features on top of this new navigation system. For example, favorites and folder. Next thing I wanna show you today is the ability to do bulk operations in Motion. Bulk operations has been one of our most requested features. So let's learn how this works. Let's take a look here. If I wanna select these two tasks, I can select them like this. And you can see here that I can change their priorities to high, their durations to 30 minutes. And when I click save, both of them get updated. I can also quickly select by clicking on the header and it selects all the tasks within that group. I can unselect all and I can also select the main header to select all the tasks in the group. And last but not least, I wanna show you the new activity feed for tasks and projects. The new activity feed not only looks great, but it also has a couple of new functionality. First thing I wanna show you is the ability to collapse update. So if there's many updates that are made at the same time, Motion automatically collapses them into just one line. Second is it looks beautiful. And so all these new activity items are much easier to see because now they have icons. And lastly, now we support all kinds of activity items. Now, every single change that you make to a project or task is logged in the activity. This should make it very easy to audit any changes that happen to any of your projects. And now you've seen the biggest update to Motion of 2020. We're hoping that with these new changes, you'll be able to more efficiently track your projects and tasks, even if you're working by yourself or with. That's all for me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.